Well, right now we're talking with Ron Harrigan with SIPS Team USA, and he's got this structural insulated panel, which is SIP for short, and uh, it's just catching on like big time. It's one of the great insulators for our homes and energy efficiency. Ron, why don't you talk to us a little bit about what a SIP is and then kind of show us how it okay. works. Structural insulated panels are not new. Structural insulated panels have been in the market for about 50 years. They originally started in the Midwest. The Dow Brothers back in the 40s designed the first panels. And since then it's migrated in. Up north, energy efficient, energy costs were always high. Down here, energy was inexpensive. So it really became very popular and still is very popular in the Northeast and the Midwest. Now with energy being what it is in the South, people are realizing that, oh, wait a minute. Heating is just like cooling in the summertime, and they're becoming a lot more energy conscious, especially with their electric bills in the past three or four years doing what they've done. So structural panels have now become very part of the building construction scenario down here. What we have is a structural OSB board laminated on EPS foam. EPS foam is the same foam you have in your coffee cups. So when you have a 150 degree coffee in your hand, you don't feel the heat or a cold drink. Basically, we're doing the same thing in here. This piece of wall section, which is a four and a half inch wall, as we call it, is an R16 and direct equivalent to fiberglass. Ron, let's talk for the person that's just seeing this for the okay. first time. They're getting involved and trying to understand these energy efficient terms. You talk about an R16. What does that mean? An R factor is a relationship of air transfer of one temperature to the other side of a wall to another temperature. Uh, the old R factor and there is based on fiberglass, which has a lot of air in it. And with the fiberglass air, you're going to get infiltration of air into a house. And that's what causes your heat or your cool to really dissipate or increase in a house. When you go to the foam construction, there is no air inside. We rely on the captive foam to be the insulation product. So what we say in an R16 equivalent to fiberglass, in reality, you're closer to an R23. So the, the insulation factor of a foam product is a lot higher than what an R factor is in that system. But air infiltration, as I said, is your biggest culprit in a house with fiberglass. And they need air and fiberglass to act as insulation. With us, we're using a contained product as the foam as our insulation as it comes across. So there's a big difference in the insulation characteristics of the two products as it comes across. Construction wise, we can take any house plan that you've got and we can convert it to a structural panel house. You don't have to draw a special plan and spend the money for that. We do that and do the conversion when we're doing a quote for you. But we do the walls and we do the roof. What we do in the walls to facilitate wiring is we've got three wire chases, as you see here, on there, which are spaced at 12 inches, 16 inches, and 44 inches that run all the way around the house. So your electrician can fish his wires in here, cut the box in the wall, and you can wire the box in either for low voltage or for the foam or whichever comes in. When we build the walls, we include a top plate here, which the roof is secured onto. When we do the roof, the roofs are screwed on with these special screws and glued onto the house. Now, each one of these screws is equivalent to about 900 pounds of pullout. Very, very strong. Down in Florida, our houses, as they come out of the boxes, I'm gonna say from the factory, are rated at 120 miles an hour. We rate up to 155 miles an hour with some slight changes with structural engineers when we sign and seal on it. So what we do is we de design the roof per your drawings, we design the walls with the window and door cutouts in it. And they're already framed out so your contractor or yourself can just set your window in and screw it in. We get the rough openings exactly from you. The same thing for the doors. Where we have panels that come together to make a wall, we already install the splines in the factory for you. So this shows a male spline here, and then the female is basically the foam cut back in the adjoining panel. You'll apply some of our special adhesive on either side and slide the two together like this, 
and then you nail it every four inches with a, with a number eight ring shank nail. What you've done is created a single diaphragm. You don't have any spots that air goes through or structural integrity. Everything sits on a plate, just like you do a normal wall, but you install the plate first, whether it's a floor system, whether it's a foundation, whichever you're using, the plate's installed first, and then the wall slips down over the top of the plate, and then you nail it from either side every four inches. Again, that's 120 mile an hour wind loaded. Very, very, very strong. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, I'm, I'm watching this on MyMax.com. I'm seeing these insulated uh, walls and roofs. I'm interested in it. How do I get involved in this or get spec or get consulted on this? The easiest way to contact us is at SipsTeamUSA.com. And it isn't on there. But you can see it down here. SipsTeamUSA.com is our website. You can directly contact us that way. From there, we can communicate back and forth on the uh, internet, or our phone is 229-246-8880. And we're Bainbridge, Georgia, two and a half hours away. We ship into this area continually. And any questions, please feel free to call us. We're there to help any way we can. Homeowners that you have done this with in the past, give me two or three things that they've come back and said, wow, this is the benefits that we have gotten out of using your product. The speed of construction has blown their minds. A 1,500 square foot house, normally they can dry in, or their contractor can dry in in two and a half to three days. That's roof and walls. The quietness of the house, we have a DB rating of about 32 to 33 with the wall panels. And it's amazing to people that they don't hear the outside noise as like did in the standard construction. And when they get their electric bills on it, and they find that their electric bill is 40% less than their neighbors. This is money back in their pocket on it. And our cost, when they come to us, is very competitive to structural building with two by fours. We'll be about the same cost, maybe 5% more than the framing packages, which is nominal. Their payback on that is gonna be usually anywhere from six to 12 months of the energy savings you've done a payback, and from then on in, it's money in your pocket.